Ladue is a beautiful part of St. Louis County. It's gorgeous, has a lot to offer if you're moving to the area, and it is definitely one of the more upscale suburbs of St. Louis. And it sometimes gets a reputation that's not entirely true because it is more expensive to live here. So in this video, I want to go over what it's like in Ladue, what to know if you're moving here as far as real estate, schools, things to do, and just stuff you want to know to hopefully get your bearings in this part of town. Let's get to it. Hey, my name is Jacob. Welcome to the Living St. Louis channel. Well, today we're talking about living Ladue, that Ladue lifestyle. Ladue is definitely one of the more affluent suburbs in St. Louis County. Ladue is really in the heart of all of this mid-county wealth in St. Louis. This is the part of town where you're going to see higher median home prices, income levels. It's not a cheap part of town, but it is beautiful. It has some gorgeous neighborhoods that we're going to talk about. Now, the way I sometimes describe Ladue is like the more suburban version of Clayton. So if you look at Clayton, it's got a very urban feel to it, very ritzy, very high end. It's kind of like the economic hub in St. Louis County. A lot of companies there, a lot of people that work there. Ladue is kind of on the same level of price, but it looks more like the suburbs than a miniature city. The way I sometimes put it is that Clayton has this very old money style. Well, if Clayton's old money, Ladue is even older money. Ladue is mostly residential. There are a few main roads going through that'll have your shops, restaurants, and boutiques. So really the main shopping and dining areas you'll see in Ladue are gonna be along Clayton Road. So they have one area called the Shops at Ladue. So it's kind of this cluster of some boutiques, few restaurants, cafes. You have the police department and the city hall also on Clayton Road. But a lot of Ladue is residential neighborhoods. And homes here might range from 500,000 up to 15 million plus. And a lot of the elite country clubs, social clubs, private schools of the St. Louis area are in Ladue or somewhere near it. It tends to be a very interconnected community. Everyone knows everyone. It's a small part of town and St. Louis as a whole is pretty connected. Ladue is even more connected. Now, Ladue itself does not have the most to choose from as far as shopping, dining, entertainment, but you are right next to Clayton, Frontenac, and Brentwood, which are three areas that have way more stuff going on, shopping malls. You got Plaza Frontenac, the Galleria in Brentwood, downtown Clayton. So Ladue is right in the middle of all of these big hubs you have around you. Now that convenience combined with the high ranking schools is probably one of the biggest reasons people are moving to the area that we hear about when people reach out to us. I mean, if you're moving to Ladue or somewhere else in the St. Louis area, if you want help buying a house, buying a condo, whatever that looks like for you, send us an email or send us a text. My group and I are practicing realtors. We love hearing from you guys who watch these videos. I know Ladue is on the more expensive side of housing, but we really handle a lot of different price ranges throughout St. Louis. So if we can be of assistance, we'd love to work with you. Now, something you might notice with Ladue if you're trying to get a feel for the area and the people, there are kind of two different groups you'll notice in Ladue. On the one hand, you have this very stereotypical generational wealth that exists in Ladue. I mean, some of the biggest names in St. Louis live somewhere in Ladue, a lot of very successful people, and a lot of these huge homes, very custom estates, you know, ranging from $3 million to $10, 12 $15 million. They've been here for generations. They know everyone in town. They might have a street named after them or a building at one of the private schools named after them. And Ladue sometimes gets this connotation of being a pretentious part of town where every neighborhood starts at $2 million bucks and people are snobby and condescending. It's not entirely true, really depends on who you talk to, but then you have the other side of Ladue, which is a bunch of these cute neighborhoods with some of your smaller, more modest homes that might range from 600,000 to a million. A lot of these charming, colonial style brick homes or a mid-century split level home. And you know, not everyone in Ladue is a multimillionaire who grew up here. We have a lot of people who have moved to the area for the location, the schools, or for a job somewhere in the area. 
And I mean, from a real estate perspective, you have a bunch of variety. You will see a bunch of these charming neighborhoods. It does have more of an established feel. You have trees, beautiful landscaping everywhere. This is not one of those kind of cookie cutter new development parts of town. Ladue has much more of an older, almost historic feel sometimes, but you do see a lot of these newer built custom homes. So it's kind of having that blend between the older homes and the newer built estates. And you will start to see different options depending on the price point, you know, from 700 to 800, 800 to 900, and then from 1 million, 2 million, 4 million. There is a really, really big range in Ladue because most other parts of St. Louis don't have that high end of the market like Ladue. I mean, if you want to talk about wealth, you will absolutely see that in Ladue. Anything from the cars people drive, the clothes they wear, the places they go to dinner, go shopping, you will absolutely notice that. And especially from the real estate, you drive through some of these neighborhoods, they are gorgeous. And <laughs> Ladue is the kind of area where you will also see people buy a house for one to two million bucks, sometimes even more, but it sits on a couple acres, tear it down, and then build a massive, custom, ultra, ultra luxury home. But if you're looking for something between, you know, 600 and 800,000, you will see neighborhoods that offer that. And sometimes I think that's the thing that gets overlooked with Ladue. And it's got one of the highest ranking school districts in St. Louis. Ladue is ranked number one, followed closely by Clayton. So Ladue and Clayton usually alternate one or two. They kind of go back and forth, but they're both usually up there if you're looking at public school rankings. If you're looking for private schools, you will find several in Ladue or in the area. John Burroughs and MICDS are the most well-known private schools in Ladue that you'll hear about. And then you have a bunch of other options immediately next to you between Clayton, Frontenac, Town and Country, and Creve Coeur. So the schools are sometimes a big thing in this part of town, whether you're looking at your public options or private schools nearby, there's a bunch to choose from. The Ladue School District is big, so it expands beyond just Ladue. So one thing we've seen people do a lot is if you are really, really drawn to the Ladue School District, but you would like to live in an area where your money goes a little bit further than it does in Ladue itself, here are some areas you want to think about. All of Olivet belongs to the Ladue School District, and then you will see parts of other towns also in Ladue. So Creve Coeur, Westwood, Frontenac, Huntley, and some of Richmond Heights will go to the Ladue School District. And that's a great way if you either want to have more options or you maybe want, you know, a little bit more house for your dollar if there either isn't much on the market or you just don't like what's in Ladue. Plus, we've definitely found that having our network of private listings, especially in Ladue, can definitely be an advantage just to have some more options to think about if you're moving to the area. So those are kind of the big things that draw people to the area, both the schools and just that lifestyle and that location. You know, it's not the biggest part of town, so it does not have as much for me to talk about compared to some of the other areas, but that is pretty much a basic overview of Ladue. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any feedback for me, please let me know in the comment section. Outside of that, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video on the Living St. Louis channel.